Query caching in MySQL is a performance optimization feature that stores the result of a query so that the next time an identical query is executed, the result is returned from the cache rather than having to run the query again on the database. This can greatly improve the speed of frequently run queries, especially on large datasets. Here's how it works. One, when a query is executed, MySQL checks the cache to see if an identical query result already exists. If it does, MySQL retrieves the result from the cache, which is much faster than running the query again. Two, if the query result is not cached, MySQL executes the query as usual and stores the result in the cache for future use. Key aspects of MySQL query cache. Cache hits versus misses. A cache hit occurs when a query's result is found in the cache, saving time by not running the query again. A cache miss happens when the query result isn't found in the cache, causing MySQL to execute the query and store the result for future use. Cache invalidation. The cache is automatically invalidated, i.e., the stored result is cleared when the underlying data changes. For example, an insert, update, or delete operation happens on a table involved in the query. This ensures that the cache doesn't serve outdated data. Static queries. Query caching is particularly useful for static or read-heavy queries that are executed repeatedly where the underlying data does not change frequently. Disabling and enabling query cache. In MySQL, the query cache can be enabled or disabled with the following system variables. Query cache type controls whether query caching is used. It can be set to zero off, disables query caching entirely. One on enables query caching. Two demand enables query caching only when the query includes the SQL cache keyword. Query cache size defines the amount of memory allocated to store cached query results. By default, MySQL may set this to zero, meaning query caching is disabled. Example of query cache usage. You can run a query like this to utilize caching. SQL select SQL cache style from products where category equals electronics. If query caching is enabled, the result of this query will be cached and reused if the same query is run again, speeding up performance. Drawbacks of query caching. One, ineffective with frequent updates. If the data is being updated frequently, query caching may not be useful because the cache is invalidated too often. Two, overhead. Maintaining the cache adds a small overhead because MySQL must check if a cached result is valid and whether the cache is up to date. Query cache deprecation. As of MySQL 5.7.20, query caching has been deprecated and removed in MySQL 8.0. Modern systems prefer other caching mechanisms, such as memcached or Redis, which provide more control and flexibility over caching strategies.